Hello humans, my name is Kay and today I'm bringing you a video that was highly requested for all of you Stable Diffusion lovers. And that is how to install Stable Diffusion on my own computer without too much effort. Now a few days ago I created a video where I explained to you how you can install Stable Diffusion on your own computer absolutely for free. Now unfortunately I received a lot of comments from you guys telling me how difficult it was for you trying to install Stable Diffusion on your own computer. From bugs to errors to just trying to install the right softwares. But do not worry because today I'm bringing you three easy installation of Stable Diffusion for your own computer. Now I've rigged these installations from easier to harder but believe me even the hardest one is still gonna be much easier than anything you've ever seen before. So the first easy Stable Diffusion installation that I'm bringing you is called Stable Diffusion JRISC GUI 0.1. All you have to do is just click on the link in the description down below so you arrive at this page where it explains that you need an NVIDIA card to be able to run this project and that you need a card with at least 4 gigabytes of VRAM to generate an image that is 256 by 512 which is already pretty good. Now all you have to do is just scroll down to the bottom up until you see the download button, you click on it and the download should start immediately. Now once it's done you should have now a 3 gigabytes archive that you're gonna extract in another folder. All you have to do is just right click, click on extract to stable diffusion JRISC GUI. I'm using WinRAR to do this. You can also use WinZip. If you don't have these softwares you can find the download links in the description down below. Now once you've extracted the archive you should have another folder with the same name as the archive. You're just gonna double click on the folder now, double click again. Now you're gonna scroll down to the bottom up until you see stable diffusion JRISC GUI.exe, double click on it, and that's it. Yep, that's it. It's over. The installation is complete now. See how easy it was? So now that you have a dialog window here, you can simply input your prompt right here, the output folder, the amount of steps, the scale, the amount of sample per prompt, the health precision, if you have problem with your VRAM, the seed, and the resolution. Here the resolution is a little low, so I'm gonna put it to 512 by 512 and then click on render. It's gonna load the model and start rendering the image and there you go. Now to be able to see your image all you have to do is just go back to the folder, scroll up up until you see results, click on it and there you go. Here's your final image created by Stable Diffusion. And all of that without having to install absolutely anything. So yeah, Stable Diffusion JRISC GUI 0.1 is by far the easiest installation of Stable Diffusion for your own computer. You don't have to download any other models, you don't have to do anything other than just download this installation, just click on the button download, click on the exe file and that's it. It's running on your own computer and you can do whatever you want. Now as you saw, Stable Diffusion JRISC GUI 0.1 is by far the easiest installation of Stable Diffusion for your computer. But the problem is that it's a little simple, it's a little too basic. The only option that they have is the simple text to image option, which is good and all, but um, it could be better, you know, if only we could have something like, um, I don't know, image to image. And well, this is where the second installation comes in. Welcome to Stable Diffusion UI V2, a one-click install to use Stable Diffusion on your own computer. No dependencies or technical knowledge required. And that is pretty cool. And their built-in features looks really, really good. Not only that you don't need to install anything, there is also support for text-to-image and image-to-image. -image. You also have control over your art with the NSFW settings. You have a CPU settings that if you don't have a compatible graphics card but still want to run it on your CPU, but unfortunately it's very slow. And it also features a lot of Data that gets you the latest improvements and bug fixes, which is really, really cool. So to install this is very simple. You simply need to click on the description down below and then you will arrive on this page. You scroll down up until you see installation. 
and you click on the button for Windows and it will automatically download the archive. Now, as you can see here, there is a special requirement that you need to follow to be able to use this. And the only thing that you need to do is simply install or more like extract the archive into your root folder. So either to your C folder or any drive like D at the top root level. So for example, if you have a C drive, you're gonna extract the archive into a C stable diffusion UI. And this will avoid a common problem with Windows. So really pretty easy to follow. Now once you download the archive, all you have to do is just right click, click on extract. So once the archive is extracted, all you have to do is just double click on the first folder, take the stable diffusion UI folder, copy by doing control C, you go into your root drive and press control V to paste it. And this will paste your stable diffusion UI folder into the root of your local drive. Now that you moved the folder correctly, you can double click on it. If you have trouble, you can also double click on how to install and run the TXT to see the entire process. As you can see here, once you double click on this file, it will automatically install everything and it will start the Stable Diffusion interface in a web browser. And to start the UI in the future, please run the same start stable diffusion UI.cmd file. Very easy. So we double click on the CMD file and this will start installing a bunch of files, everything that it needs to run Stable Diffusion. It's gonna take a while, so take a break. Now, if you receive an error, it's okay. Don't worry, don't panic. All you have to do is just simply close the window and rerun the CMD file. It's gonna rerun again, but way faster and then it will launch the UI. So as you can see here, it has finally done the installation and it has now a little message here saying Stable Diffusion is starting and you need to wait until it is green before using it. And there you go, now Stable Diffusion is ready to be used. So what's really great is that it has a lot of options. Not only you can choose the basic Stable Diffusion stuff, such as a seed, the number of images to make, the size, the steps, the scale, but you can also use here the two mode or the CPU mode. Also, if your graphics card is an NVIDIA 1650 or a 1660, you should click on this box to enable full precision. And what's great is that it also has some kind of image modifiers that will help you create better prompts. And once you're done, you can simply click on make image. And there you go. Now, now, I know what you're gonna say, but, but, but I want the same thing as the other ones. I want the same UI, I want the same stuff, I want everything. I just don't want to do the complicated installation. Okay, 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 I understand, I got you. And that is why if you click on the link in the description down below, you will have access to my personal Google Drive account. And here you can download this archive called SD Entrepreneur that is around 7 gigabytes. Now initially this archive was hosted on a website called Mega, but unfortunately this took me two days to download because of Mega's restrictions. So for you, not only I decided to put it on my own Google Drive so that it's easier for you to download all at once, but I also added a little extra bonus. I added a special file that will make this whole ordeal a little bit more palatable. So all you have to do now is simply click on the button download to download the archive. Keep in mind it's a 7 gigabyte archive so it will take some time. So then what you're gonna do is install Anaconda on your computer. Simply click on the description down below or go to anaconda.com and simply click on the button to download. Now what you need to do is very important, you need to install it into your base folder. You need to install it in your base folder for the extra file to work properly. If you don't do it, this will not work. So just install Anaconda on your own computer in the default folder with the default settings. Once you download the archive, you're gonna do the same thing as the other ones, right click and extract. Now once the archive has been extracted, you're gonna double click on it, click on SD and click on SD again. Now here in the main folder, you're gonna see plenty of files, but the three files that you need to worry about are these ones. Start full speed .cmd, start low memory .cmd, and to run CD, double click here .bat. Now the one thing that this little file allows you to do is just to speed up things a little bit. It basically replaces you having to navigate into the folder and type the sentence conda activate LDM. It does it all for you. So the first time that you run this, all you have to do is just double click on this bat file. This will activate LDM and you simply type conda env create f 
environment.yaml. The code will be in the description down below. And then you press enter. If you already done this before, you don't need to do it. As you can see here, for me, it doesn't work because it already exists, because I've already done it before. And once you've done that, all you have to do is just choose one of those CMD files and drag it into the CMD window. So if you have a low memory graphics card, you're going to need to take and drag this one here. But for me, since I have a pretty good graphics card, I'm going to take the start full speed dot cmd so i'm gonna take it and drag it right here and then i'm gonna press on enter now this will start downloading a bunch of files you don't need to worry about this is all the files that you need to run stable diffusion correctly so just wait a little bit wait for everything to be downloaded and then you can start running it and there you go it was actually pretty fast once it's done downloading all the files that it need it will give you a local host address that you can select Control c to copy the address go into your own browser and then paste it in your browser and there you go you have access to the entire stable diffusion catalog of tabs text to image image to image GFP GAN, real ACR GAN, and all of that without any complicated steps. Now, after you're done, as you can see here, this has created some kind of B drive, virtual B drive. Uh, don't worry, it's not a virus, it's okay. All you have to do is simply double click on B drive disconnect.cmd and this will disconnect this virtual drive. And there you go. And there you have it, folks. A simple and easy installation of stable diffusion on your own computer without any complicated steps. Don't forget to subscribe if you want more AI stuff. Don't forget to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. And boy, do I like algorithms. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.